Saturn has 62 officially recognised moons, the smallest of which, S2009 S1, is only 400 metres in diameter. It can be that small because the moon is classified as any natural celestial object which orbits another body. This means captured asteroids can become moons too, which is what Mars's moons Phobos and Deimos are. It even means asteroids themselves can have moons, like asteroid 2004 BL86, which passed Earth earlier this year. But the most exciting thing is that any asteroids which are captured by Earth's gravity temporarily become another moon. The last time we had a second moon was in 2006, when the 3 metre wide asteroid 2006 RH120 orbited us for 9 months. Some controversy existed as to whether the asteroid was natural, with some saying it could be space junk from the Apollo mission. However, its motion has now been determined to be consistent with a rocky object. The asteroid will fly past us again in 2028. It's important to determine whether an object orbiting us is natural or not, because that defines whether the Earth has another moon, or simply another piece of space junk. Often this can't be done with absolute certainty, because some objects are so small that astronomers often can't infer much about it. The exception is when they crash down to Earth. Object WT1109F has been orbiting Earth for at least three years since its discovery and is expected to enter the Earth's atmosphere tomorrow, the 13th of November, at 11.49 local time, 100 kilometers south of the Sri Lankan coast. If the object turns out to be an asteroid, then it means for the past three years, Earth has had a second moon. If it's space junk, the re-entry will still be fascinating, as knowing its approach time and location has given scientists the opportunity to study the effects of the object's interaction with our atmosphere. This is one of the first times astronomers have known in advance of the approach of an asteroid or space junk, and is the reason why the public will also be able to watch the fireball live online. No matter what the object turns out to be, keep an eye out if you're travelling in the Indian Ocean tomorrow.